morning YouTubers. Today we're going to start to germinate seeds for the garden. Some I'll be actually planting directly when it's time, but we are going to start with some that um, I germinate inside the house. And as you can see, I have a traditional tray with the wicking bottom to put my starter mix in. It also has a um, greenhouse style top. The rest of these are all recycled containers and you can see my daughter loves ramen my son is the king of yogurt and in all of these containers that i've recycled i've poked some holes in the bottom there is a coffee cup and there are some water bottles half gallon milk carton um the yogurt containers like i said and the trays really are from vegetables that we've bought so i'm going to be doing an experiment um using the same germinating soil, which is an organic starter mix mixed with some of our vermicompost, and we're going to see how the seeds do. So I'm going to put this on pause, mix the, the starter mix, and then I'll show you how to do that. One thing I want to show you in going through my um, vermicompost before adding it to the seed mixture, I was able to discover, because I screened it one last time, three little wigglers three red wigglers. So I have moved them to the side, given them their own little compost pile, and I will take them back to the worm bin as soon as I'm finished with the starter mix. But what we have here is um, we have uh, three quarts of vermicompost, and I'm going to be adding that to um, uh, 12 quarts of starter mix, which is already said for starting. And we'll have the proper ratio then. We're going to wet it. Then we're going to fill the um, potting medium. So I'll be back. The next step, of course, is to thoroughly wet your mix along with your vermicompost. So what I do is just add the water from a rose spring, from a rose water, or just a little bit at a time, and then use a slotted spoon and go ahead and mix it, stir it. You want it to be damp, not overly soggy or wet, but your seeds are gonna need a moist environment for germination. Okay, so now you can see what we've done is filled each of the containers with our germinating mix. And we're gonna choose seeds now and label them and then put them away to see how they sprout, see how well they do and test out which containers actually turned out to be the best. The only thing that you don't see here, because I have um, plenty of containers to start today, are newspaper pots, which if I need to germinate more seeds, I'll make newspaper pots next week. Okay, and now we're finished. You can see in my sunny windowsill, I have all of the seedlings, well, hopefully two bee seedlings, but all of the seeds ready to start. So we'll be experimenting between this greenhouse and all of the recycled containers that I have here. The rest of our garden, when it's ready, will be sewn directly into either the containers or into the 4x4 raised beds. So I will see you next time. And then before we go, just to say, if you find any worms in your potting mix, because of harvesting your vermicompost, remember to save them and go put them back in the worm bin. Okay, take care.